Now this is the first day where the temperatures got about 75 and I left my window unit on economy set at 68 degrees and with these shades down it was cold in here that's like last week when I didn't have these shades up the AC was setting on the exact same thing and the temperatures were getting into like the low 70s and it was almost hot in here so these things are definitely doing their job I mean just by sticking my hand back here like this the temperature difference is insane so they definitely work good it is now Tuesday March the 20 or not March April the 29th I think and I do believe the lazy bug has left me now I'm getting back to the bathroom but during my lazy time I have spoken with several people and we have thrown around a bunch of different ideas and I wanted to throw it past you guys and see what you think but first this crack you see in the floor I'm going to fill that with some expandable foam yeah I know it's not really the right way to do it but I'm not pulling up the closet or this floor over here to fix this so and it's all going to be covered by tub and everything else so I'm just gonna fill it with expandable foam but when I get this done I'll go over the idea that me and some buddies have been throwing around bada bing bada boom crack is sealed I'm gonna let it cure probably for a good day and then I'll go back with the razor blade and kind of shave it off I probably don't need to wait that long but so me and my buddies have been doing a lot of talking okay we've got a mutual friend that is a home builder that has done a lot of mobile home conversions into more houses I guess you could say down here and we've been kind of talking about my lot and how we can utilize the lot better you know open the lot up more so we've been kindly brainstorming so I thought I would throw this stuff by you all nothing set in stone it's all basically hypothetical and also down where we live there's really no but building codes but there is electrical and plumbing so building additions and stuff it's pretty much use your imagination so what I have here is just a rough drawing we did the other night um, so I, I like I said I just thought I would explain it to you guys now keep in mind my trailer is 68 feet long and some change so 70 foot and it's 13.8 inches wide round that up to 14 so it's 70 by 14 so what our builder buddy was thinking I could make my width of my lot I can open my lot up a lot more okay I'm just gonna erase this I don't have the exact numbers on my lot size but I thought I would just kind of give you all an idea now my lot sits at an angle it's kind of like that okay, let me zoom out here so that's kind of how my lot is and currently my driveway you know let me improve on my drawing skills a little bit let me switch hands too so there's property line and the only reason why we started talking about this is because i wanted to buy this sliver of property from my neighbor i was just wanting to square it up i can't do nothing with this over here because that's like easement you know on the streets right here so i mean it's not a whole lot of space and it's not anywhere screwing with plus i couldn't get it if i wanted it the city won't sell it to me but my buddy's lot's over here the property line cuts right straight across at an angle and my driveway kind of goes like this okay so i offered him a thousand dollars which is totally fair around here to draw a straight line and to buy this section so where it just square my lot up it would just 
be a lot nicer to have just a square lot minus this piece because that don't count. But he wouldn't do it. So I really don't know why because this isn't nearly as big as what this picture is showing. It, as you can see, my drawing is not to scale. So my question to my builder buddy, builder designer guy, was how can I utilize my lot better? So let me put a representation of my mobile home on this lot. Okay, so here is a representation of the mobile home. You can see I've got the kitchen, living room that I'm sitting in, the spare bedroom, bathroom, and the master bedroom. This right here is my laundry, okay? Now, this actually can probably come down a little bit. Okay. Now, the laundry is a fairly important piece of this equation. Also, I have a telephone pole right out here that can't be moved. So, my buddy, what he was thinking about was how can we maximize your lot? So, what he has suggested, since my driveway goes like this, okay, and it comes down like such and i got my deck right here my little crappy deck okay what he's suggesting since we cannot move that telephone pole that we draw a line from the fuse box wall and let me show it to you okay here is my fuse panel this right here would be extremely hard to move if we unless we just wanted to rewire this whole place so that's not an option i don't want to deal with it so he's like, well, pretend we cut the end of your trailer off. We could probably start at the edge of the window, which is on the other side of the tub here. Okay. Make a wall right here. Pow. Okay. Just say, imagine the wall is in between the washer and dryer. Make that a wall. Turn this into a closet. This fuse panel would not have to go any place. It could stay here and then you figure the bathroom would come over just a little bit more and take up say half of this little spare bedroom here or I would end up just doing a traditional small bathroom you know say this would be the entryway to the bathroom and it would be small instead of big like I'm doing okay now stick with me this is just hypothetical worth throwing ideas around so the trailer would get cut say about right here which would bring it before the telephone pole this would be gone we would totally get rid of the master bedroom okay telephone pole still here that would shorten up the trailer a whole lot then He's like, we can get rid of your deck. Of course, it's going to go by by anyway. And I'm going to build a deck anyway. A new one. Oh, yeah. This is my back property line. He goes, we could build onto the front of the trailer. And I'll get into detail how we do that. I just want to show y'all what it would kind of look like. Okay. So, we would come off of here. 14 foot. Come off of here 14 foot. Come straight across. So there would be no more U-shaped driveway. At all. All this would be going bye-bye. Be pretty lovely grass. Okay. See what happens when you have builder friends and you just sit around and talk. <laughs> all of a sudden your your place is completely different okay so this is another 14 foot wide which would basically give me i'm just rounding this trailer up to 14 foot so this would give me 28 foot of width from here to here okay i would lose mm, probably 15 foot on this end but it would open my lot up a whole lot 
make it nice. And I would actually have a, a kind of a, a normal yard, enough to cut and do stuff with. Now, the kitchen, we haven't really figured out what we would do with the kitchen. There's a bunch of different things we could do. Now, the trailer is give, gives me a little bit over 900 square foot the way it sits now. Now, if we take off this 18 foot, which roughly it would be, it would bring me down to 700 square foot. And you can easily do the math. If we doubled the width, it would end up giving me 1,400 square feet. Okay? I'd have 1,400 more square foot if I come out this way. And it would allow me to utilize a little bit more of my lot. And where the addition out front would go, that's just basically where my driveway is now. It doesn't even go to the edge of the driveway. So, you see what I'm saying? Now, I can't do anything in my front yard anyway because I have ladder lines out here. So that would stay the same. I would still have enough room out here to do a deck on the front and be about 10 foot from my ladder line. And if I really wanted to, I could do, well, I couldn't do a wraparound, but I could stop right here. Do kind of a partial wraparound if I wanted to. Or I could go along this side, go around the back side, and, you know, it's just do a whole lot more, okay? Now, as far as the layout of the house, I don't know exactly. I thought about maybe removing the kitchen, making this a garage here. Okay, that would be a nice wide garage and it would be deep enough for my truck. Or if I had to, I could come out two or three feet on this end to make it like 24 foot deep. So basically I would have like a 20, a 28 uh, by 24 garage. I could have that there. The living room would be moved. I would have a nice big living room out front. And he's actually gonna put this on his design software and make a blueprint on the computer so I can see. Maybe living room here, make this a huge master bedroom and let this be like a, a Jack and Jill entrance here for my go to the master bedroom into the bathroom. And then, you know, you've got the kitchen here. This would be a nice big fat kitchen. So take the living room where it sits now and double it. Make the living room the kitchen. It would be a huge kitchen. Basically what I got here. Okay. And then I would still have a nice big bathroom. So that, that's kind of what we're thinking. Or if I wanted to, I could maybe... Mm use this and make it more living room space or make us another bedroom so i'd have two bedrooms up front small garage kitchen big bathroom so that's kind of what we're talking about we haven't decided anything yet because it's an ordeal but my buddy like i said he's been a builder for 40 years and he does this stuff all the time. And I asked asked him, what would the budget for something like that be? And he's he tells me, he goes, if you do a concrete footer, make the whole addition a concrete footer, it could probably get expensive. But you can do it with six by sixes. And you would have to say basically build a pole barn style frame all around the whole trailer and then slowly the trailer would disappear completely from the inside you know once the front addition was done and it was usable then over here he goes you could either keep the trailer put the trailer on concrete piers which would be easy to do or for a very small amount of time live in the front the new addition part which is basically you know he goes you might have to rough it a little bit until we can get rid of the trailer and make a new floor he goes you could do that he goes there's a bunch of different things you could do plus when you cut off the end of the trailer here you won't be removing your wheels because your wheels will still be out here 
so you can still hook the trailer and pull it out later if you wanted to. So that's some of the little ideas <clears throat> we've been talking about. And I do like the fact of utilizing my lot better and being able to have more space all around. And uh, then he goes, let's say, get rid of all this stuff. Okay, say this is just empty. It's just a square. Well, here, yeah, let's go do this. He shows me how he would do it. Okay. Say this is the boundary. Okay, this is the trailer here. He goes, it would basically be, you would be making a, a subfloor using six by sixes. Kind of like building a deck, but instead of doing deck decking on top, you would use like Advantech. And then once that was done, you would, you would build your walls just like everything else. You know, he, he's like, you know, you would build a real professional, nice floor. You just would make, have piers with six by sixes. And, uh, then in, well, I can't remember, but we went over so much different stuff. He goes, trust me, he goes, it's possible I do it all the time. Just have to figure out what you would want to do, and it would happen extremely quickly. <laughs> so, but anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know what we were talking, what we've been talking about. Like I said, nothing set in stone. It's just hypothetical fun talk, but it has made me think a little bit, you know. And a lot of the houses down here are built around mobile homes, so could happen. Could not happen. <laughs> so. so I'm going to give you guys a little bit better idea of what's going on. Okay. So here's the outside of my trailer. Now my property line. Let's see. If you look down there right in between that mailbox and that telephone pole is my property line okay and it comes straight this way and it comes right over here to this peg now if you look straight through here right up that away is my other property line and you can see from here to here, you know, I've got this space over here, which could be a little bit of backyard, which I would like to keep. You know, I do like grass. I like having a pretty lawn. So let's walk over here and I'll show you guys the part that my neighbor, you know, didn't want to sell. But check it, it's his. You don't have to. Okay, so here's my stake. Now, if you look to the left of that tree, there's my other property line. And it cuts off the very left part of that big tree. So let's walk down there. But right here is the small section that I have left, okay? The way it sits. And this is where my septic tank was. I would just like to you know, just had more space out here to feel like I had more yard, you know. So, but anyways, here's the property line. So, what I basically wanted to do is come to the edge of this tree and go right straight down to where that tiki torch was, okay? So, from there to there and right back up to me. That's the little bitty piece that I was talking about that I wanted. But I can't get that now. So here's the trailer. There's Jamie. Get tangled up being the pooping machine. There's my telephone pole. So if I come out another 14 foot, which would basically put me right dab square with this telephone pole. Right here. Okay basically where those rivets are i would probably have to bring the bathroom over more but it would come out all the way out to here 
go to the end of the trailer right over here and it would double my square footage there's the telephone pole there's my trailer so that would definitely add you know a nice amount of a more usable space i could have like a really big living room uh just me and the dog i think it could work out or I could, like i said i could keep the kitchen here there and then over here would be like a spare bedroom and still have a big living room and then the master would be on the other side the bathroom over there or i could come out even further if i wanted to if i want to you know make a bigger garage area or something but i just want to show you guys and see what you all think it's just an idea and uh so say the wall would come out here set and then i would actually have real rafters that would go across kind of like that little picture i added a representation and then you know i would have six by sixes to make the floor out here and then i would build a regular two by four walls like a house and then make it where i could put new trusses over top of the whole trailer and the addition but i would have to do six by sixes on the back side yada yada you know it, it's some engineering but it's nothing that anybody that could build a pole barn could do and then my buddy's been doing this stuff for ever like i said so I guess that's it. What are you doing, pooping machine? Huh? What are you doing? Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know. See ya.